Oh, good morning, guys. It is like five till seven. We got to get out to these garage sales. It's uh, a little, little weird weather, but uh, not complaining. It's not too hot, which is good. It's been very hot in St. Louis. So uh, let's go get some cash. Let's get out to these garage sales. Is this your sale by chance? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm actually still shopping. I just want to make sure I can make a pile somewhere. Yes, you totally can. Awesome. Uh, Excuse uh, me. Uh, trying to uh, Let me just put them in the bathroom. You know? <laughs> Wash them in the not, toilet, you know? Not too the weird. bidet, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know we're, we're fancy here. Um, but yeah, if you want to set them in there or uh, if you want to set them on just back that, that works too. Yeah, yeah perfect, perfect. I didn't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll protect you. No, no, no problem at all. Also, you had a. Uh, I think it was forty total on both the PlayStations. Would you do thirty? Yes. If I bought both. Okay. Cool. Yes. Cool. Uh, both of them have disc drives that need replacing. Really? Okay. Um, I believe that's okay. okay. Um, I know it is for the PS2, but Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is the game that is stuck in. Life. Really? So. <laughs> okay. You drive a hard bargain with that then. for the DJ Hero and the Walkman here. Oh, I think between the two of these things, I would like $10 for them. $10. But, you know, I, had someone... I say 10 okay, and so... come back and say something else. We're at, uh... I probably just agree with it. <laughs> We're at 30. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think of like where I'm even at uh, now here. Let's see. Yeah, let's go look at those cameras. Okay. I think you had five a piece and then two on the Polaroid. So you're at 40. Okay. As I spill stuff, so we're at 42. Would you just do an even 50? We'll just. 
Perfect. This We're on the same wavelength. It's awesome. Uh, the poster. All right. And I owe you 50 today. Okay. Yeah, he owes us 50 today, by the way. Gotcha. I don't think I got it all in here. Yeah. You're getting the PlayStation, right? Yep. Yep, both PlayStations. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> awesome thank you guys all right guys first sale yet again pretty well um the guy was super upfront of course about the ps2's uh situation i mean we're gonna dive into it at very minimum to get the game out of there uh marvel vs. capcom <laughs> which that makes it worth the 30 dollars even right there um yeah, I'm feeling really good, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and just like kind of freestyle around. Um, I'm not really like trying to have anything on my radar today. Um, it's just kind of one of those. Uh, it's another Saturday of just wanting to just drive around aimlessly and see where the wind takes us. I've I've been enjoying that instead of having like a very regimented like, OK, we got to we got to take this route sort of thing. Um, which is what Zesty and I typically do together. Um, but the last couple Saturdays have just been me solo, just kind of driving and finding good stuff, you know, or trying to find good stuff anyway. So let's keep the train going. Let's hit it. Doing good. Oh, man. What did you see there? Uh, garage sale finder. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you by chance? Oh, and you like hold her handheld system? Oh so. man, like the Atari and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. If you have anything like that. I already got rid of it. Gotcha. This is my gotcha. third week. Oh, is it really? <laughs> gotcha. And yes, I did. <laughs> gotcha. I man, I was hoping that guy, he got so excited when I asked about video games. I was like, yes, yes, show me the games. And of course, you know, he's like, this is my third week doing this. So I'm like, dang, you've pretty much sold all the good stuff. So I don't know. There could have been a, a very minuscule amount of value there. Um, but yeah, nothing worth our time. Good morning. Have some good, good books right there. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't happen to have any like video game related items for sale, do you by chance? Like any like Sega or Nintendo or anything like that? I want to know. Hey guys, Nintendo Switch. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Not selling it though. No. No. <laughs> I'll, sell I... I'll sell it next year. Okay, <laughs> deal. I'll see you next year then. <laughs> you have a good day, guys. Ready to settle up with yes. Okay, I got a blues hat. Dollar twenty-five. Do you need a bag? 
Uh, no, I'm fine, thank you. And did you guys happen to have any, like, older video game stuff for sale by chance? Any, like, no. Nintendo or Sega or anything no. like that related? Not a problem at all. All right. Awesome. There you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you want a bag? No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. I actually already got one from another sale. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks. Have a good one. You too. You guys could barely see it. It was pretty dark in that little area of the basement, but there was that military jacket that I kept going back and forth on and I just wasn't feeling it. It was 10 bucks. I probably could have talked him down, but I just said, eh, whatever. Uh, this blues hat, this vintage blues starter hat is gonna be extremely hard to sell uh, just because I love vintage starter. And of course I live in St. Louis, so let's go blues. Uh, but you know, I have to imagine that uh, if I when I clean this up, especially on this little sweatband here, this will be worth, uh, I would say probably a easy twenty five to thirty dollar bill on that guy. Um, also, this is for Zesty. Morning, guys. Morning. Morning. Good bargain in the house. I think I'm ready to settle up with you guys. Is that so is that stuff sold? Yeah. Gotcha. $32. Would you guys just be willing to do 30? Just make it easy. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. I was completely shooting from the hip there. I didn't even bother to look up comps. Um, I just from a nostalgia standpoint, think these are really, really cool, um, especially the Skeletor. And I noticed that some of them had like, you know, accessories, which is a huge thing when it comes to vintage toys is if they have their accessories or not. Um, let's see, what else did we have in here? Um, but yeah, these are all just from the He-Man universe. Um, and I think they were all like 80s or yeah, all 80s, I believe. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I feel like 30 bucks for the whole set. I mean, at very minimum, like 60 bucks for the entire thing, probably. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to comp each thing out individually, see if we have any gems. And if we do, we'll separate those and then we'll lot up the rest. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good, man. Oh, you were here last week. I was here last week. You got it. I yeah, was just so coming back to see if you had any there, more you goodies. Your, I guess GoPro or whatever going on here. Yep, that's right. Yeah, my fiance and I run a YouTube channel and we kind of film our, our thrift adventures and garage sale adventures. So. Oh, okay. I was kind of curious. I was going to ask you last time. We'll yep. I have a bunch of other people running around. No.
Yeah, you can fill a grocery bag for uh, $2 on the clothing, otherwise it's 50 cents each. Gotcha. I think they should all be like a large, perfect, long. I'm thinking, perfect. Yeah, you definitely went for the vintage one too. <laughs> the Woodland. My son first went in the Woodland was what they were wearing. Gotcha. And then by the time he got over there, mm -hmm. over in Afghanistan or Iraq, they ended up in uh, yeah, isn't it Tricon, uh, I think. Yeah, the ones that like are on the farther right, right yeah, side. The yeah, the chocolate chip is the is the one that they were wearing over at that time. Uh huh. Chip. All right, y'all, as you heard in the clip, I was there last week. That's where we bought that G.I. Joe Jeep and a couple other things. Um, I went back because I was, I, you know, I was interested in this these military shirts. I mean, they're just like simple, you know, button-up uniforms. Uh, not really crazy, but this is definitely the oldest pattern, and it's got the most patches on it. So I thought that was really neat. Um, I'm not sure 100% on the value of this, but I know that we're going to do well for 50 cents. Also, the Starbucks mug is also great for 50 cents. I mean, never pass up a Starbucks mug for that much money. Uh, you're always going to make money on it. So I know this doesn't pertain directly to reselling, but I just wanted to show you guys that stuff like this is obtainable if you do come across video game equipment. Uh, don't be scared to dive into these things. They're actually relatively simple. There's a ton of guides online. You guys can find everything out if you need to. Uh, just dive in, you know, and uh, experiment. All right, it's a couple days later. Let's finally go through this haul and talk about it a bit. And of course, you guys already saw what we got out of the PS2, so let's just keep that in mind about uh, going over this. We've already basically made a good chunk of our money back already.
So going on with that sale, we have the PS3. I did plug it in uh, to check for a bonus disc. I didn't plug it up to HDMI, but it did boot up. Everything sounded smooth and everything. So I have no qualms uh, that we should, you know, get about 60 to 70 bucks for this, especially if we throw in one of the controllers. We'll probably throw in the black controller because the white controllers actually command a little more money. Uh, so yeah, happy about that uh, with all the PS3 stuff. Uh, the power cables over there somewhere uh actually he they threw in a remote i didn't even know uh clean battery tray in there as well um thank you for the remote i guess uh <laughs> hopefully maybe a ten dollar bill on this who knows most remotes are uh we have some third party ps2 controllers we'll probably just lot those up in a garage sale sort of uh situation a oem ps2 controller as well everything had good sticks and buttons on it so pretty happy about that also a GameStop memory card for the PS2. Uh, just little stuff, you know, again, the battery tray cover front, uh, these are always missing on PS2, so probably just sell that by itself for maybe 10 bucks or something like that. But yeah, um, you know, just good bread and butter items right there. Uh, moving on to the DJ Hero. Um, it does spin freely. All the buttons look good. Clean battery tray. We got the dongle, which is super important to have. Um, and the two games. Um, I mean, even just the dongle itself for, what did he say, 10 bucks uh, was worth it. So we went ahead and took those. I'll throw a comp up on the screen for you guys. On to the cameras that I got for, well, they said five bucks a piece, but I was chomping at the bit at five bucks. Um, you know, I love uh, camera stuff, guys, especially Canon stuff. Uh, but these are actually SLR cameras. These are film cameras, so they're not anything super wild. Uh, this one is the Rebel S2 right here, and this one is the regular Rebel, the OG, the original. Um, but the S2 here, I found one comp at 35 with 10 in shipping. It was a little difficult to track these two down because there's so many variations of the Rebel in SLR and digital SLR. Uh, so that was a little tough, but I have to imagine that uh, this will be around 30 and then this one probably 20 to 25, uh, just because it is the original model. This one's a little bit newer, but not by much. The other camera that we picked up was a Polaroid Spectra SE, nothing wild about $17 on most of these. There was 17, there was a bid for $1, there was another 17, another bid for a dollar, 18 with 11. So yeah, nothing crazy, but if you guys have been following the channel, y'all know that Zesty and I are getting married soon, and uh, we are having Polaroids at our wedding. So at very minimum, it's a wedding thing. So the last two items rounding out that sale was this uh, karaoke revolution set, uh, except the microphone is basically busted uh i don't know we're probably just going to end up donating that i mean the chances of us finding the headset is pretty slim so yeah uh, uh you know maybe a 20 dollars bill if it was complete and then also this sony walkman i just picked up they didn't have a price on it i uh, just kind of threw it in uh did have a clean battery tray it does need some cleaning on top as you guys can see it is pretty grody but about $20 here, 20 free, 20 free, and 15 with six there. There was also a 24 with five. So um, as long as that checks out, all good to go. Also, it has its AC adapter, which is kind of crazy. You never really see that with these older uh, Walkmans, but pretty cool to have. Another sale I got that Starbucks coffee mug from. This is just a real standard one. Um, I have to think, you know, maybe, maybe 10 to $12 net at the end of the day on this little guy right here. But I can never pass up a Starbucks mug. They eventually sell, they all do, and you can get them cheap enough. Uh, this starter hat, let's go ahead and look up some comps really quick. I said 25 to 30 earlier in the video, but there's no telling, Vintage Starter does well. Okay, so I did find the exact comp, let's go. Uh, and it sold for $30 with $6 in shipping. So yeah, obviously that one looks a little bit nicer than what we have here, but uh, you know, some, some care into uh, the sweatband here and then reshaping the front, which we've done before. Um, I think that we can still get a 20 to $25 net bill out of this guy. Pretty sweet hat. I might even keep it when I restore it. We'll see what happens. Okay, I do apologize, guys. I actually got this at a separate sale. But with this sale, we also got this camo uh, military uniform top. Uh, this is Air Force, and it's got some cool patches. Um, you know, 
anywhere from $10 to $20 probably, uh, probably on the $20 side because of the patches. And it's in fairly nice condition. Uh, if anyone's curious, this is also called Woodland Camo. This is a camo that they had, I believe back in the 80s and 90s. I'm sure some military guy might uh, jump on me for that, but I'm pretty sure this was 80s, 90s. Uh, the patch is still visible there. It's a large, so good size, uh, clean shape, you know? So yeah, easy, probably, I wanna say 15 bucks. So this sale was definitely the most interesting and the most that I was uncomfortable with as far as telling the value of what I had here. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, you know, stuff like this with the accessories is good. I did look up each individual figure. I haven't watched <laughs> Masters of the Universe He-Man in so long, so I actually did have to look up the figures on Google Lens, but needless to say, uh, this Skeletor right here is kind of the front runner because it does have the sword and his armor and stuff there. Um, I did find out that that is the soft head version because there's a few different from 1984, but one went complete with a staff, which we don't have, for $28 with $8 in shipping. So this figure, I would have to say maybe $20 to $25, uh, and we paid $30 for the lot, so pretty happy about that. I would say on average, uh, I'm also keeping this, guys. Let's just talk about that. I have this exact one because it has the uh, it has the little movement on the torso there, kind of cool. So I'm definitely gonna keep this He-Man figure. This is directly from my childhood. Maybe I'll find the sword and the other thing. I forgot what else comes with it, but it comes with the sword and stuff. But definitely gonna keep that guy. Um, but so on average, you know without all of their accessories i mean obviously some do have accessories like this guy he's got his little armor things but he doesn't have like a little hammer i think it is for this one but either way we're looking at about eight dollars for these five right here uh eight dollars a piece anyway and then a little more than that for this one um about 15 and then kind of the same thing with this it's actually it's got a little rip cord that you pull out the back uh, and makes this go. I actually had one of these, so I might just keep that and put it with the He-Man and put it on my shelf, um, especially because it doesn't have the ripcord. It definitely loses a lot of value. Um, it, without it, maybe a $10 bill net, so I think at that price point, we'll just keep it because we're already making, you know, just even with uh, Skeletor and one figure, we're basically making our money back, so we'll be pure profit on all of these right here and that so pretty happy about that and if you guys want to see more garage sale footage more goodwill bins footage all that good stuff reselling thrifting nerd collecting hit that sub button down below and we'd also love to hear from you comment down below your favorite part of the garage sale haul today i certainly enjoyed it ton of great stuff ton of great nostalgia it was freaking awesome hit that like button if you like the video too we'd really appreciate it and we'll see you guys later on the next grab